Lovely Jonathan and the annoying B Money with me. It's the colorist, but cool. Thank you. What? You painted the darker man as the more annoying one. Just saying. That's fine. Cheers to colorism. <laughs> right. No? Okay. So, right. Um, you guys can dish. Can. <laughs> 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 nice. You guys can um dish your food. Do you still want me? To, do you still want to enforce patriarchy? Do you still want me to serve you? Yes. Woman, serve my food, woman. Oh my god! Oh, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't. Oh, cardinal! I was bound to do it. Like, was that, was that, were you like yeah, I was about to say. Sir, there's no meat on my plate. I need one more serving, please. Just thank you. I'm just gonna get you some more mushrooms because obviously. Mm. Mm. Two point three grams of protein in there. Nice. Wow. Would you like me to serve or would you like to serve yourself, John? I'm sure you're oh, comfortable no. serving yourself. Uh, great. I got it, man. What's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be painted with the same picture as you. <laughs> I'll not come and die today. <laughs> come on. Right, so, as Jonathan says himself, um, the conversation for today is colorism. Um, the reason I've chosen two men to discuss this with is just because I feel like this discussion is always had with women... Um, and I just like to get, see, like the whole premise of this thing is having discussions what and getting other people's perspectives. So obviously we've had countless discussions on social platforms, people discussing colorism and it being quite a few women discussing it. There have been like the grapevine one, which I was also a panelist on. Yes, that was, you already know, <laughs> that was men and women, obviously the women spoke because I think a lot of the time we're discussing it, it's in regards to things that are surrounding black women, dark skinned women. Um, Paintings. <laughs> and um, I've chosen be money because there's actually been this whole comedy video from his previous... It's a setup. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> There's a comedy video that's been going around of when he did. I, I actually have not watched it. I know I be, have reason to believe you may have said something about burnt toast and jam, but um, okay. but and and this is not a setup of any way, shit, in well, any way, shape, Because if you got one of these youths that's been on the panels with me before that start sweating and freaking, <laughs> man, say what man saying it. Nah, that's wrong. And, and I respect that, but then. I think there's a discussion that needs to be had in a sense where mm. the same way us as women mm. can change our views and change the way we look at these things and and no longer act on our conditioning is the same regard that should be granted to him in a sense that prior to this video coming out i'd seen many videos where he's spoken well of black women and dark-skinned women and, and stated that was his preference and and he wanted to have dark-skinned children and and you know things of that nature so it's like Okay, he said, are you shaking your head? Am I, mean, I in comments? You're just spitting bars right now. So as you know, you just hear bars. Okay, so um, I thought <laughs> I'd said something wrong. So in a sense where, and I have friends who, when they were younger, they're male friends I'm talking. When they were younger, they had one view on how women or dark-skinned women were and they, that wasn't what I was going through and their views have changed over time. And if we are giving out passes to light-skinned women that have said problematic things in the past and, and if we can accept that their views have changed and they've grown up why can't we expect uh, accept that our men have done the same um that's why i've chosen him jonathan um was a guest that said he was interested in discussing this topic with me um and it was kind of open to everyone on the floor um jonathan is someone that i've known for quite a while so i'd like to see his view on it and me we all know i'm an activist for melanin so anything black and as a dark-skinned woman i have been i don't like the word victim but colorism has played a part in my life and how i see myself or not how i see myself now but how i have seen myself in the past and yes yeah, so i, I want to have it this discussion from a different angle 
So we're just going to go straight into it. Firstly, what I want you guys to do is taste the food. I'm not even ready to start. <laughs> go. You first. No, well, I know what the food tastes like, so it's nice. I need you to try it so I can see. Oh, so you want to see? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I helped cook this. I'm already thin. I'm already wild mushrooms in mushroom I'm going to fight you. Somebody <laughs> excited about baby mushrooms. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. <laughs> I'm joking. It's alright. It's alright. It's, it's cool. Tastes like it's lacking chicken stock. <laughs> chicken. But it's, no, it's cool. It's cool. It's nice. Um, it's alright. I'd put more salt in it. Would you? But I can taste the salt. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So it's just. I think I have the right amount. I wouldn't put more. You wouldn't put more. Yeah. I, I like salt. Okay. <laughs> I just, so it take, don't take me. I just want to put salt on your um, McDonald's chips. What? Add extra? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to stop. So I don't do it. Don't do like, no, but yeah, I'm one of those people. I add salt. I used to add sugar to frosties when I was growing up. I did that too. What, what's the point? I, I like did. sugar. I like the, I like the got... granule feel of sugar. So Especially at the end of the bowl. Yeah. And... Oh! Did you ever do it with Rice Krispies too? Only the, what I used to bang it. That was double dose because yeah, you, you because there was no exactly. And at the end, right? See when you get the last <laughs> bit of rice crispy and the milk, and you see all the little granulated sugar just I chilling on the edge okay. of the spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. But I don't eat white sugar no more. This is nice. I'm taking a piss. <laughs> okay, nice. thank you. I mean, hold on. You're tasting the avocado. Oh, after you said you weren't, I'm, I'm so happy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Avocado has the worst texture on this planet. I'm sorry to say it. You know what? Just, Everyone that I've met that doesn't like avocado. It's so grimy. Doesn't like the texture. But let's get into the actual topic because you are. <laughs> Look at yourself. So hold you Okay, eat the rest of the food. I'll eat your avocado. I'm going to eat my avocado. Okay. I'm, I'm learning here. Okay, like so um, let's go start with you, obviously, because you're the man of the hour in terms of what's been going around recently. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm aware, but maybe everyone else is not completely aware that your view on um don't do that because you're making the food look bad. Like no, the food is nice. The avocado is trash. Go on. <laughs> the food is nice, guys. I'm not even being rude. The avocado, I don't like avocado, but the food is nice. I cooked it. Trust me. Go on. There's video evidence of me in the kitchen cooking, and I didn't fuck up the pasta. Go on. Ooh. Yep. Got excited with your big balls in your pot. Let's <laughs> get into this colorism topic. Let's go. Right. Um. So, how do you feel about the whole discussion as a, as a whole? I don't like to, I don't want to pose any questions to pose you. Pose a question. I, I don't have a question to pose. It's a discussion. Who wants to jump in there and, and do their thing? I think it's boring. I think it's, um, it's like, <clears throat> there's a lot of issues affecting black people, as we're aware. But the fact that we constantly go on about, you know, it's cool because I understand, like, I, I feel like recently women have these platforms and they're having more of a voice mm -hmm. but i think there's a lot of it that's not even genuine anymore i think some people have had bad experiences and they're just using it to create mm -hmm. a movement and kind of capitalize off it and um, some people just want to be they're like opportunists they're like they're opportunists not women, but mm -hmm. that's a whole different discussion going to continue yeah not that <laughs> what i'm saying is continue. i think there's a lot of mm -hmm. opportunities um, opportunists and i understand we all got to grind we all got to do something but to take something that is you know there's literally not a lot of difference between some of what these girls are doing nowadays and what certain rappers are doing when they say, oh yeah, you're, but you're capitalizing off the drugs and violence, you're rapping about this stuff and you're making money off it, you're promoting it. All right, you're rapping, you're capitalizing off women's feelings, mm -hmm. their hurt feelings, mm -hmm. and you're capitalizing it, you're starting these movements. Some of you are starting these angry, you know, stuff like, you know, not you personally, I'm saying like, you know, that you're standing this old anger, anger, black man, black man, this, mm -hmm. but you're tweeting that whilst you're getting dicked down by a black man, mm -hmm. but you're not telling anyone that, you know what I'm trying to say? You're, 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 your back is being blown out by a black man who appreciates your darkness and your beauty and all this like like even um, can i name names go for so it so i don't even know personally but like that leo me anderson girl was mm. talking shit about dark skin men her boyfriend is a whole six foot of dark skin who's this that there's a model called leo me anderson right. all what did she is, say 
she made some thread because obviously like there was a rapper once who said something about dark skin women called that black mm. and he said something about he doesn't like black bitches or something mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitches. i heard about that yeah and he's very dark himself yeah and um she oh, used this to make a whole thing about it and rappers but you're still dancing to rap music you're still listening to rap music you still go out with a black dark skin rapper so it's like relax do you know what i'm trying to say and a lot of people just take one thing run with it because it's it, it gets it's it's you know, worse yeah it's worse. and it's, it's annoying are you saying, traction on the internet and are you saying it's not genuine what she was bringing out of course you can never say it's not genuine because there's always going to be especially as, or whatever Especially as them being black women, mm-hmm. I can't tell you your experience mm-hmm. is not genuine. Okay. But what I can say is, the take, mm. the angle that you're using, the lane that you're choosing to go down, isn't genuine. Right. Because at the end of the day, we constantly, we see a lot more of what we choose to focus on. Right now there's a car that I want, guess what I see a lot of on the road? The car. That car that mm-hmm. I want. Mm-hmm. So if you're constantly out here saying men are trash, you're not getting, black men don't love you, you're going to look out for all the examples mm-hmm. of men behaving in that particular manner uh-huh. you're going to ignore the people that are actually which is actually the majority and I, i've brought this point up before if every day i go on social media every weekend there's at least a black wedding there's a black baby mm-hmm. there's some sort of declaration of black love mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be called black love because i'm tired of that as well but there's there's images every day that i see that show me that black people are well and truly still together yeah people are black people are we're growing up to a point where we're even seeing pda amongst young black people more mm-hmm. so why do we choose to focus on these few people that are popular and talk about oh black women don't get love you get love but we're in the same boat we don't get as as a whole we don't get much love from the other side mm. if anything we're feti- fetishized and sexualized mm. and all these words that you want to use so it's like chill out man but how does colorism we, we know how colorism affects um the black woman but how do you think it affects the black man mm. i think you, that's what we need to you, t- you tell me <laughs> you you hit the nail on the head though um but more fetishized fetishized mm. What's yeah. the word? Fetishize. Fetishize. Yeah. Um, and there's the other spectrum where, as a black guy, obviously, you have the people saying, oh, these light-skinned girls are nice, blah, blah, blah. But then you have um, people saying light-skinned guys are weak, for example. Yeah. Mm. And then the dark skin is seen as more of a fetish. Yeah, more of a and it's seen as masculine a more, man. More masculine because you're more, more, manly. Of a, more of an aggressor. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So what, like, for example, with, with Drake. Aggressor. You're calling Drake moist and everything. Um, and yeah, I just feel that's the angle. But colorism has always been an issue, in not, not just in black society, but like in like in India as well. You've got mm. people bleaching their skin as well, men yeah. and women. Everywhere you go Everywhere. in this world, the darkest people are the most frowned upon. In yeah. fact, Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma yeah. Gandhi he yeah. said, dark skinned people are dirty and stupid. There was something along those lines. He was talking about the dark skinned Asians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm aware of the colorism in, in, in Asia, mm. South Asia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of the colorism there. Um, I, it's, it's, it's an issue. Yeah, of course it's an it's issue. It's not my issue, and this is not to invalidate that, but it's like, that's not my beef. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, that's not my struggle. Um, and I don't mean that in a way that, oh, I don't care about what's going on. To an extent, not to say I don't care, but it's not something, it's not a lived experience, it's not something that people around me are going through because mm. that's not my community. They don't come from us, I don't come for them. Mm. To say colorism is not rampant there is a lie. It mm. is, it's there, it's well and truly alive. Mm. Um, hey, let me get a little chicken flake, dog. No, use your hands because I don't use my hands. Please, don't know where they've been. You don't that's know where you're going. Dora, please, I got my dragon. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Right, cool. So you guys are talking about, you know, you're talking about how light skinned guys are soft and now you don't rate them. <laughs> is that what I said? That's not what the evidence is there, you know. <laughs> no, but obviously we were interrupted. Okay, that's, that's, you that's, said light skinned guys are washed. That's so not what you said. But um, I, I think that is something hmm. that is worth discussing. How how light, washed light you guys are. How light skinned men are perceived. Are, are perceived mm. in our community. Like they, they are perceived as less masculine and. Not as much as an aggressor. Yeah. But on the flip side, ah, we are we're showing light skin guys as generally more attractive. As mm-hmm. much as we want to push this whole agenda of mm-hmm. dark skin, dark skin, you can look at the recent World Cup. You can look at the players that were highlighted, the, the black players that were highlighted as just as the most appealing to women. If you look at boxing, you look at, you see. Let's say their names. No, but you have to say the names. It's obvious. Okay. If you look at boxing, there's a, a dominant 
you know, figure in boxing who women constantly, you know, love. And it's fine, but at the no, same time... No, I don't love them. Let me just disclaim my mind. My base for attractiveness is dark skin. That's Continue. great, but we're talking about I'm joking, what, yeah. what we're seeing. No, you're going to cut that out. Cut that out. No, no, that's cool, mm-hmm. but it's, it's great. But that's And this is the point. When, when, and that's very mm-hmm. fair, because when, when a lot of black guys say that, I love dark skin women, it's like, yeah, but, but that doesn't fit this agenda saying, right yeah. now. We're talking about men who don't yeah. like dark skin yeah. women. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you can't force... It's, you know, it's the same thing applies to crime, applies to everything. You're never going to get everybody on the same page. Mm-hmm. That will never happen. If the world worked like that, there'll be no need for government, there'll be no need for police. No one can, ne- not everyone will ever be on the same page okay. at the same time. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, yeah, dark skin men feel it too. When I was growing up, I, I wanted to basically be, be, be Bow Wow. I wanted to have, I wanted to be a Morian. I wanted to have coolie hair like little Fizz. I wanted to have hazel eyes. You have named the whole of B2K and I'm, I'm yes. spinning. <laughs> Jay Boog, the lot. I felt like I had to sing, dance, and be lighter to get any chance of any girl because until that point I was a booboo foot I had big lips apparently and I wasn't even that bad there was man them who had the rubber lips pepper grains picky hair we heard it all so all the things girls heard about their hair guys heard too okay mm. can I ask a question then yeah um you're saying that's how you felt as a kid what do you think that came from what, what kind of influences everyone and, and the, the annoying thing is that we always make it out like it was just each other cussing each other but we heard this stuff from school from the home mm. from family mm. I, uh, I, I, I hope my kid comes out to light skin even that I, I, grew up in, so fair. I grew up in nigeria certain years and a lot of time there there was still colorism in nigeria I experienced because of fascination lots with of colorism nigeria. when i went to school in nigeria but when we were in school it wasn't mali- for the most part it wasn't, it wasn't malicious. malicious it was just what we were used to yeah. what they were mm. used to but then that that Grows into that something. in itself is a problem because in a country where you feel like I'm going to feel most at home here, everybody looks like me, and they're still calling you midnight and blacky, <laughs> and I can only see your teeth in the dark and all of that. When Nepa takes like, oh, Humi disappeared, them mm-hmm. ones, it's like it's mad. This is my home country. But it's not mad. I think we what we have done now is we become oversensitive. Yeah, Growing yeah. up, that has never affected me. Like, bruv, I went to school and man them. Like, never. Girls, Okay. My name used to tell me my so- I wasn't wearing socks. I was wearing black socks. <laughs> <laughs> they said I wasn't wearing shoes. Oh, I wearing black see, shoes. The, my, thing, my uniform was white socks, and I had the <laughs> longest white socks. And everyone was like, oh, we can only tell when mommy's coming. But like, like a zebra. Black That's me. Oh, my days. But- or when you turn the light off, someone tell you, smile. <laughs> <laughs> we had it. We had it as well. No, no, no. I agree. But then I, I don't know if that should be a completely different topic, but like colorism in Africa. I feel like that's a discussion we need that needs to be had within our community because I feel like they still do it and theirs is based on ignorance. Hair is just based on the standard of what people say beauty is. And I feel no, like in, but I feel in know? Africa, the West is actually, the West influences Africa as well. So yes. it seeps into that. Colorism in Africa is colorism here, B. There's just more Africans over there. So for the most part, when we watch TV, we see black people, we, oh, we hear black music. Yeah, over here, is the only difference is that, you know, the problem mm. I feel is that we are fighting and i hate this whole stick together bollocks but we're fighting the wrong people we're fighting each other and Mm. unfortunately i hate our story like it's just so cliche yeah but we are it's division within each other and and the only and it's not even white people causing it we can't blame (laughs) white people we are actually dividing ourselves for Mm. no damn reason Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we bring a lot of american problems over here their one is different you want to say we all wear the same brand just different sizes yeah so in america racism is triple (laughs) xl And over I here, love, but yeah, over here, but I feel you. It's, it's small and medium. Nah, you know, medium it's large. small and medium. It's not. It's it's large. Don't get me wrong. Mm. The brand is strong, but the size is small. We are two percent wow, yeah, of the logic, population over here. Man. In America, Ameri- I think African Americans are like thirty. It's a strong amount. It's yeah. a strong amount of blacks over there. Mm. Whereas over here, we are. Two percent. I think three percent if you include certain else like mix. I don't know, but we're two percent of the population. Too much tea, and on top of that, fun. we are. <coughs> yeah, you tried to turn man into. I told you, right? Like <laughs> it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, look at you, mother of dragons, or whoever it is, or mother of. Yeah. What's the name? Um, Zerse. 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 Daenerys. 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 The Targaryen. First of her own, angry. First of Melanie. No. <laughs> First of her show. But listen, <laughs> like if you look at America, their problems are larger. Yeah. Their racism is more in your face. It's yeah. more overt. Mm. Whereas ours is more institutional. It's more. It's it's, it's lower level. Mm. But before you get to the white man, you got the Indian man in a hair shop selling mm-hmm. you stuff. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And not to even come up on that, make yeah, that topic. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is that 
we can't keep blaming. We shouldn't be comfortable blaming black men. Mm. You shouldn't be blaming us for not feeling protected and not. We are all in the same boat, and it's it's fatiguing. Like you know, sorry, I was uh, talking for a while, but like if you no, no, keep going. last year or two years ago when they were showing all the black men getting killed by police, no one thought, how does this affect a black man? Mm. Waking up in the morning before you go to work, the first thing you see is a new video of a black man being slaughtered mm. simply for being black. Mm. More time, a dark skinned black man. You, so then you start your commute to work whether you're wearing a suit or whatever the case you're wearing you're traveling legitimately you're walking in your area but gentrification has got these white people walking in your area feeling uncomfortable around you That's the your presence alone makes people uncomfortable you have to open your mouth mm. but i'm not a black woman but i know for a fact that more time if a black woman comes into place you might get a bit of uh what's it called toxic masculinity you might get a bit of harassment mm. you might get eyes on you but more times people look at you because they want to be like you mm. it might not be comfortable but more That's times these women are looking at your lips because mm. they're going to go get their lips done like that yeah. they're looking at your bum because they wish they had a body like that mm. they might look at your hair and think ooh, but guess what they would love to be able to braid their hair and it stick for more than five minutes after they leave the fucking shop <laughs> whereas with a black man it's fear yeah i don't associate black women with fear it's jealousy it's black woman comes to an office women are she's a threat mm. even older black women more so yeah. than white women yeah. you're a threat you're young you're black you're beautiful you get attention just when you walk through people will look at you they want to see what you're doing the black guy is the same thing but it's fear i can't it's bad enough walking alone in a path of a woman black but imagine walking in a path of a woman that's white mm. they're uncomfortable so what I'm saying like we need to stop trying to. It's like we're trying to compete with each other to say who has it worse. Yeah. Women, it's, it's I, I suffer, see a, suffer Olympics. And this is why I think a, a lot of people are begging it because a lot of people is black women are bottom of the totem pole. Ask them to draw a totem pole today. They cannot do it. They don't even know what a totem pole is. But everyone's screaming out black women are bottom of the totem pole. Where we're there together. It's your head and my head holding everyone else's head up because they're, everybody else looks down on us. So we need to stop trying to stop comparing our plights. Mm. We're both going through similar issues, but mm. and the last thing I want to say is that what I find is that a lot of the stuff that I see on social media in terms of colorism, mm. it's about beauty. Yeah. So it's almost a bit shallow. The issues that are predominantly highlighted about colorism are from a place of, I don't feel pretty. Mm. You don't make me feel pretty. It's yeah. my fucking job, bro. Mm. Mm. That that that's very true. That's that's within, and that I will agree with to this in the sense where. For a long time, I as a dark-skinned woman did not feel beautiful because I was looking for someone else to tell me I was beautiful mm. as opposed to me just looking at myself and saying I'm beautiful. Obviously, that whole looking at myself thing and seeing an ugly person mm. came from conditioning of what I saw and what I what I assumed was beautiful because that's what was fed to me. So what I'm seeing on the TV and on the magazine, on the side of the bus and on the adverts, everything. In this Western world, In especially. In this Western world. But also back home, back home mm. because when you put on Nollywood and, and it's a light skinned girl and that's the one that they're chasing in mm. there, all of that little things like ah the fair one, the fair and beautiful, fair and lovely, all of that and it's like you're you're absolutely right in the sense that it's no one's job to make you feel beautiful. Be- feeling beautiful and knowing your worth comes from within. It doesn't come from somebody else accepting it. And and I think that's something that people should live by because in a sense where I've now gotten to a place where. Bob, ask any of my friends. If I walk past something that has my reflection, mm. damn girl, you might be fine. Every time. I mean, you might be lying, but. <laughs> I know for a fact I'm not lying. Do you see? And this is another thing. It's a, it's an agreement you make with yourself. If you hear someone say that, and if you're someone that's not confident within yourself, and you, you said that, bad, yeah. I'd mm. I'd be like, oh shit, maybe I'm not. Maybe I should. You can't tell me shit about how I look. I will walk in there, I'm the most beautiful girl that you ever... I, I say this to my daughter. Anyone that sees me around my child, one thing, I will be like, Donnie, he's the most beautiful girl in the world. You, mommy, no, you are Donnie. And it's mad cheesy to people, but you do not understand how important that is. I don't want her to have to teach herself how to love herself. And it's true. It's a thing where a lot of a lot of the times, like you said, the discussions is around beauty because people are feeling that... that obviously, it is a thing where it is dark skin is synonymous to ugly and one thing mm-hmm. that I've, I've i've come to it to notice is that that is it's, it's in everything um dark magic 
you know everything dark is synonymous to bad light is synonymous to good and this is where it all comes into play there you go so it's like it's a thing where within literature and things we read and just within speaking it's mm. there and it's like oh it's it's a dark night it's a dark gloomy night it's a a dark joke it's a dark the joke dark you side. have a dark <laughs> sense of humor the dark side mm. dark is synonymous to bad light is synonymous to good when we now take that, so it's like society has ingrained it in us. We have reinforced it and then I made that agreement with yeah. ourselves. And then it's projecting into everything we do. The first time I realized dark had another meaning is I saw, um, I was young mm. and I was looking at TV and it said something. And you know, like we read the description mm. and it said dark comedy. So I thought, oh, oh shit, there's yeah, black yeah. people in this. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? It said, it said no, dark humor or whatever it is. I was like, black, oh shit, black like, comedy? No, it's, 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 they say dark, you know, say dark, dark humor. humor yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, let's go. Mm. Right, there was no black person in the show, man. I was like, what do you mean by dark, big man? Like, what, the, what does that mean? And that's what I realized. So you're, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. I agree with you. So it's something that society has put in us. Mm. We've taken it, we've reinforced it and perpetuated it. And then we're projecting it into everything we're doing. So we in ourselves are, 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 are as, as horrible as it sounds, we're the reinforcers of this. 100%. Because we're not people. taking the power away from it. It's like the whole angry black woman thing. The reason I call myself that, for the most part, yes, a lot of people, like my sister and other people will tell you that, oh, you are an angry person, you get vexed and all of this. Mm. But for the most part, I'm a lovely person. Yeah. I'm a really friendly person. I'm nice. You cross me, then it's, it's a whole you different story. You're friendly with us. <laughs> but... But it's the thing where you someone hears angry and black and they just those two mm. words are like the words everyone runs from. You but don't even have to do anything for them. Exactly. Yeah. You just need to just All I do is walk into a building and I and, and oh, oh, like the other day I went I'm not gonna speak too much because I don't <laughs> want anyone to be offended or see this. But I went for a lunch or a, a meal with some people and mm -hmm. I asked for a clean glass. And a white girl said to me, Ooh, sassy micro but ever so small probably didn't mean anything by it but if it was a white girl that had asked for that clean glass or yeah. oh could you I'll change my glass right away, you know? it, it would have been okay but yeah. the white girl that was sitting with me she was like oh sassy she probably didn't mean nothing by it but I, from that moment and and if it was someone else that wanted to delve deeper into that they'd be like oh what do you mean by that? why why are you always you know why mm. but it was a thing where i just i'd let it slide i was like mm. it doesn't need to become an issue Pick it was not out. yeah I, I chose to not 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 that one not today it's a new environment for me so it wasn't a place to yeah. be doing that do you know what i mean yeah. but i picked up on it and she probably didn't mean nothing about it she probably didn't think twice about it but i tell you what though but i wanted a clean glass if you were in a black restaurant and a black waitress was rude to you you probably would have asked her a couple of questions no, no, no. It was not the waitress that said Usasi to me. It was someone I was with. Oh, fair enough. Do you see what I'm okay, saying? Sorry. Oh, if the if the if the waitress said it to Cut me, that then... out then. No <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> no, if the waitress said that to me, I'd have kicked off. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. But you was with. Okay. Do you get what I mean? Ooh. I was with a group of people, yeah. and the white girl was like Usasi. Do you know her? Kind so of. So. Kind yeah, okay. of new, You're familiar, new... but she a bit over familiar at that point. Yeah, not not even like that. Like I just about know her first name. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But that's a whole different. I don't want to delve into that because I don't. Do want better, to... Stacey. <laughs> Do better. It's highly inappropriate. Don't use a uh, what's the word? What's the word? Buzzwords. Yes, we don't need that bullshit, <laughs> Stacey. Do better. But um, do you see what I mean? And mm. it was like in that moment. But if it was a white and and this is something that happens everywhere. It's like. Of course. When a black woman does that, you're quick to give her a, a title or a, an adjective to describe her attitude. But even if it's such a, a little thing, like, why should I drink from a dirty glass? But can I, can I say, do you think it's just a black woman that has that experience? I'm not saying black men don't have it, if that's what you're trying to say. You didn't say it, but the, I think part of the problem is that we always say... Yeah, but like, take... Black no, 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 no. That is a very black okay, thing. Okay, I, I understand. Stop. Yeah, but then... You as a man, someone will be saying, as a man, you're expected to assert yourself. You're expected to... Not as a black man, you know. That's the honest truth. You're not as a black man. Because the same things you lot experience, we get called aggressive. But because we're... I'm called aggressive. Exactly. And a lot of black women are called aggressive. Just, and obviously okay, it's not okay, a good yeah, thing because saying. they're women and they want to be seen, seen that way. But yeah. the point I try to get across to a lot of people is that we all grew up in similar environments mm. for the most part. And if it wasn't similar financially, geographically, it was probably culturally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a lot of, I don't even want to say black culture, but a lot of our cultures mm. are a bit aggressive. They're a bit 
aggressive. Mm-hmm. This bastard! Go and do this! Go and be stupid! A lot of us have grown up here in language. Mm. A lot of us have grown up in neighborhoods where you're not supposed to smile. Mm. I, you're not supposed to. If it's, you're, you're weak if you're smiling. And I'm talking about guys as well. Mm-hmm. So everyone, even girls, it's a defense of walking around the street, not wanting to be harassed. You're frowning. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Smile. Smile. You don't even want to hear it. But the point, the reason why you got sometimes I've noticed this so much of a lot of black girls, they'll see me and, straight away. Mm. I've just looked at them. They'll frown. Whilst they're walking really fast. And it's like, babes, I don't want to church you, you know. I literally just caught your eye. I didn't even mean to. I just looked and you were there. <laughs> I mean, you're nice, but you were there. Mm. Do you mm. ever smile with them? But then there's the thing. I was thinking black girls always smile, frown, but people always tell me I'm frowning. So these times, I don't even know. Maybe they're frowning because they <laughs> think I'm frowning at them. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. my face is, this is I don't commute smiling. I'm not a weirdo. So I think a lot of us have the same, we do the same thing all the time. We, we move the same way, mm. but we take offense to the opposite, the opposite doing the same thing we do. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And I think that all of this adds to it, but it, uh, I, I hate, I hate the topic, man. I proper hate it. I'm not going to lie. This, and this is, this is why I wanted the topic to be a thing where like, obviously we're strayed from colorism. Colorism was the base, but the other attributes and variants to the whole thing woman can i just stop you and say this was a fantastic meal marvelous splendid actually <laughs> thank you i shall be coming back for more but next time put prawns inside we need meat okay you said fish prawns are fish no yeah seafood we can do that right mm-hmm. sweet avocado not so keen but you know after a while my palate adjusted and it blended in good job if i do say so myself maybe learn to cook pasta in the first go just saying I will like, dash my <laughs> wine in your face. No, <laughs> oh, sassy. <laughs> Good meal, though. <laughs> but, um... You know, enjoy your food, bro. You know what I say? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know give the black woman her props. We do that. She knows how I feel. Oh, there's a setup. Could have fooled me. So, crack on. Let's go. Happy <laughs> now. Sorry, love. Yeah, man. But, but so, um... So, um... Take back my compliment and hold it to the end. So, yeah. So, back to being black. To being black um, and and dark skin, or you know, I feel like like you've said the. Why is he? Here? <laughs> What's your experience been? What do you know about being a dark skinned black man? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, light you with a full beard. I'm not a light you. <laughs> you haven't walked a day in my shoes, mate. I'm a black man. That's why. Look. This like, is. I, I'm, I'm so happy you've said that. This is something that has 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 come up before, and I've had this discussion earlier today, and it rattles me. There's this thing where we feel the need to divide ourselves and give ourselves labels. It's unnecessary and it's silly within our community, especially in a community where everyone's against us. They, they, they all see the same thing. You're black, fam. You're not, you're not light skin. You're not dark skin. You're not better. You're, you're black to mm. them. True. I hate when I see, okay, you, you don't, you're, you're not a light skin person. So you don't fit into this light. You can't advocate for light skin. Mess. You're not a dark skin person. You don't, you can't advocate for dark skin. Mess. But because you want to advocate for so so much, and like you said, some people people are t- turn it into almost like a trend thing. Mm. You didn't use those exact words. I'm paraphrasing. Well, much, you yeah. feel the need that you have to say, "Oh, you're dark skin because you don't mm. fit into the light skin box." Mm. Why? You're black. Just say you are. This man here does not fit into light skin. He does not fit into dark skin. But he mid skin. <laughs> But but no, we don't need to give it. We don't need to give it a title. (laughs) He is a black man. You can be a black person without fitting. Think he's a bit more ready orange. (laughs) You need to shut. He's like sunset. (laughs) I think he's sunset black. We should do sunset Sunset black. Sunset black. Yeah, maybe that's what you guys are. You can start your whole whole thing. But no, it's unnecessary. We don't. We don't need any more categories. You are a black person. Nobody can okay. take that from you. When you walk into a white Michael establishment. Michael Jackson can. I believe he can. He doctors can. Sorry, carry on. I'm so spitting. <laughs> I'm spitting. <laughs> take that away from you. I'm spinning. Doesn't matter if you're, you're black, black or... You know, he nearly, <laughs> he nearly ended racism with that, that music video, you know. Okay. But then he just, <laughs> his skin just got... <laughs> He wanted to warn us. <laughs> doesn't matter, guys. It really doesn't matter. My arm is going to be on the other side of me. No! <laughs> Michael Jackson's slander will not be tolerated on my team. Stop. <laughs> Cut. Stop. Would you let him babysit? That's the question. I don't have a balcony in my house. 
Oh, you ain't even got. Oh my, I just realized what you were doing. Oh my god. Michael Jackson slander will not be tolerated. <laughs> we're we gonna stop there. I need more wine, lady. <laughs> This one's sweet. Let me see what it's called so I can find some of it. It's um Turn around, let me see. No, don't 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 shh, don't oh. until they start sponsoring. Mm. Would be black people drinking that one, wouldn't it? Barefoot. See, but well, that's a black joke. Oh, it's made by black people. Oh, if a white no, person made geez. it, we wouldn't like it, but we can joke amongst ourselves. Mm. That's another thing as well, like you know, we talk about this joking thing and Black women being the bottom of all jokes. Bollocks, mate. We've been cracking jokes on each other for years. The only difference is that a lot of people deleted the tweets and a lot of people didn't. <laughs> Some people just joined the party later. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But if you even look at your... I promise Yours can't you, be deleted, man. I deleted shit. Please, I've got nothing to hide. Did you people post it, post it on purpose? So, the video's there anyway. Mm. I did a comedy show and um, that's like from 2012. You could tell so by the how, time when it was all you could tell by how baggy the jeans are like it was back in the day <laughs> like just so you know i was wearing floral shirts before everybody else i just want to put it out there i have a vision a visionary um so boom hear what man's saying it? yeah mm-hmm. shout out to killer cat i feel just good but, it's lit. but yeah back then mm. i'm never saying back then or now People still say things. They just mm. careful what spaces mm. they say them in. Absolutely. Yeah. I see it all the time. People will contradict themselves. Oh, you can't say stuff like that. But then they'll say something way more worse <laughs> than that. I said, I'm like, and I really wouldn't even say what you just said. We all have our limits. Mm. And a lot of people are trying to protect their brand, protect their their, 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 their image. Do you know what I'm trying to say? No one wants anything to come back because we live in a, in a culture of dragging. Another mm. thing we got from America, all this dragging, yet all these bitches are... Fa- all this dragging, yet yeah, all these people are fat. They don't want to go to the gym. If they took that same dragging motion to the gym, they'd lose some pounds, right? Everyone wants to drag someone. Always want to drag someone. The way Why? My wrist is doing the mothers. What's wrong with your wrist? It's, it's you. It's you, man. You're coming up with a madness. Why is my wrist hurting me? Continue. That is juju. I think it's what you got in your garden over there. Because why has your wrist got to do with my mouth? Oh, yeah. Whip flip. You good? No. Okay. Nearly. Arthritis is mad. So, it's that tattoo. It's on your vein. But the thing is, like, look, all this dragging wow. culture, all this stuff that we have, where does that come from? It's mm. all, these are big American issues that we bring over here. If you look at um, Africa, look at the Caribbean, mm-hmm. the men bleach as well. You brought mm. this up. You said Indian. I don't know why you put them in. But black men bleach. Mm. No them. one brings that in. No one says, why are the black men bleaching? Do they not love their skin? Do they not feel wanted? Do they not feel like maybe that they'll have more chances if they were lighter skin? Why is nobody asking the important questions? Charlemagne because well. Charlemagne, he keeps lying. He keeps lying. Oh. He keeps lying to himself. He keeps saying, "Oh, well, he's he supposed uh, to be." Uh, well, okay, he, Charlemagne's story, and he's sticking to it. Is he got a dermatologist, and he had patchy skin. He had dark patches, so now his skin is all one color. That's what he says. Isn't that, isn't that bleaching? But still, no. But I don't know. But he just said he. You know, some people actually have like. I want to call it camo skin, like some parts are dark, some right. parts yeah. are light. Pigmentation. Of yeah, so that's what he said. He's got like, you know, yeah, he's got pigmentation. So what, and it just kind so of... So he's had a way to blend it all in. So I, obviously, I'm, I I think he has said that basically some bleaching or something was incorporated. But yeah. the point was, that's his story, he's sticking to it, he wanted to be one colour. Cool. But that's the point. A lot of men do it as well, but nobody really brings it to light. A lot of girls that were bleaching, their, their mums were doing it first, and their mums told them to and do the it. cultural thing. Yeah, yeah their parents used creams on them. Why are we blaming men? Why don't we ever blame aunties that came to your house and told you, ah, oh, your hair is looking, your nose mm-hmm. is looking, ah, oh, you're looking very Afri-. You know, that your parents will tell you, oh, you need to do this, you need to tone it down. So, you know, when people want to come for me about a joke I made in 2012, I think, shut your mouth, get a grip, because I was getting books to come and tell these jokes at Afro Caribbean society events at your universities where everybody's educated. So, you, you obviously not were educated, but not work at the time. Mm. I was doing a lot of black shows. I never saw if I was doing these sh- jokes at um white shows. White shows, I would totally understand. In fact I wouldn't even do it because I feel like a coon. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I was making black jokes. My joke at the time, I saw okay, so I said, um and if you watch that video I say My question is, did everyone laugh? A lot of people laughed. It was literally a theatre. And all you you hear is laughter. So when you see the comments, people say, How is that funny? I don't know. I asked the fucking hundred plus, two hundred plus <laughs> people that are laughing and ask them. They were laughing. 
So the point I'm trying to make is that, okay, I made a joke. I basically said I like dark-skinned women. I said I love them. I was saying I love dark-skinned women back then. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to give my credit. Cool. Mm-hmm. And I said, the only thing is, if you agree with me, dark-skinned women need to stop wearing red, red lipstick. Mm. They like butter toast with jam on it. That's funny. No one liked it. I mean, obviously they liked it. Now if you hear it, you say, butter toast with jam on it. Then you think of colorism. And you look at misogynoir. It's like, oh, disgusting. By the time, it was just a harsh joke. And everybody cracked up. But mm-hmm. guess what I did after and before the show? Talk to me to a black, dark-skinned girl. She just didn't have red lipstick on. I didn't like it. When we were younger, obviously now you can go on YouTube, see MUA, and they're blending and brushing, and a lot of girls' makeup was trash back in the day. There was a time when you used to put pink blusher on your dark I'm face. A, I'm, I'm, I'm a person. I've got a picture here with pink blood. Please ask me what I was doing, and yeah. I was looking like... You looked like you had a flesh wound. <laughs> it looked like a flesh wound. Are you going to pink blush on I'm your really face? I'm not taking it that far. It did look horrendous, but wow, man said flesh wound. You said horrendous. <laughs> What's the difference? A flesh wound looks horrendous. Boom. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, we make a joke, and you're laughing. You're laughing right now, but if I said that to you on Twitter or something, and someone else saw it, yeah. I didn't understand how I'm saying it. Yeah. There will be a lot of backlash yeah. about it. Yeah. So the point is, like, don't try and chastise me. Whatever you're angry about in your current life, which I know a lot of people are going through shit, don't take it out of me. Don't make me out to be the bad guy. Mm-hmm. I love black women, and I've been saying this. And there's lots of guys, a lot of guys like me who said this trash things, but they love black. What kind yeah. of girls you like, bro? Black women. Has this? Have you suddenly became become to like black women? Or that's always been your story. I've always liked black women. Okay. Cool. Do you like dark skin women? Do you have a preference? As long as you're nice, I'm not. <laughs> Does that mean I'm not bothered? I'm not for a nice white woman, I'm just asking. Oh, no. Mm. As long as she you're has nice, to be like right? a 12. Or something. It's, just, it's just not my thing. You're not age, right? Huh? Not age, right? Uh, of course no, not age! They're not pedophilia here! What kind come of on, nonsense? Dude. I mean, but I'm just clearing up because remember there's no man here, so he said she has to be like. He said A12, but they might not have heard of A. Yeah, yeah, okay, might, okay, might, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to, okay. I'm trying to protect you. You know what I'm talking about. Help you. Help <laughs> I'm just trying to protect you. I'm trying to help you, bro. They tried to do Kobe. I mean, ratings. 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 Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Jesus I, Christ. Wait, you go for a white woman if she was like a 12. What's a 12? Like, I don't. Fire. I don't. Well, I don't. They, they have to she has like, to be fire, Lewinsky. Oh, fire. But, like, I'm not really attracted to white women. Yeah, this is like me. Like, I don't I don't even think, I don't think I, I, I. She thought you meant size 12. Okay. This guy, why are you being this guy? <laughs> I was fine with him just rinsing you in the cooking tin. And well, now, now, it's just, now it's on it's you, it's on to me. Right. Please, like, um, they don't protect my brother. Right, <laughs> okay, I, I, I just want you guys to give me your like, final notes on like colorism as as black men and like your experiences on it. Yeah, let Jonathan speak first because my man's on a lot of money. A lot of money. Proper rat of you, innit? A lot of talking. I, I feel that. Black guys don't necessarily talk about their experiences as much as black women do. So the, you want to see a you see a black man because I know like my best friend is dark skinned, but he says that he's been cussed for being dark skinned. Mm-hmm. He doesn't go on Twitter, tweet tweeting about it. You understand? He doesn't really talk about it unless he's like asked about. This is the only thing I see in the video. So like the original question. Just because you don't hear about it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen to the black men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just don't talk in much in general. Mm-hmm. So that's really my closing statement. Is it's. it's Everywhere, really. Yeah. And money. I just got the original question was about black men's experience with colorism. Mm-hmm. And guess what we talked about? We talked like, about sh- women. Yeah, we were in, bro. Women. Mm. Gash. That'd be an offensive word today, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was <laughs> the word. Some people used to use that word. Damn. Gash. Women. Oh, my days. Even that was horrible. Though. I thought that was a disgusting word. Like, <laughs> Why are you going to call a woman a wound, cuz? <laughs> you know, a gash is. A gash is also when you got a hole in your body, you know. Yeah. You got a gash. Wow. Imagine. It's actually a harsh word, isn't it? I mean, people, people used to call women gash and then women are getting upset because they're being called females. Mad men. <laughs> you don't know, like female, you'd have hated gash. <laughs> 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 hey, you know. Give me your closing statements because you're mad uh, me and this is going to be such a problematic episode. Go for it. Uh, colorism is cool, you know? It's colorism character- is not cool. He doesn't mean it's cool. <laughs> My closing statement, dog. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's character building in that. Get me. No, nah, but um, <laughs> a lot of women are making money off the back of it. More power to you, my black sisters. You keep pushing that colorism chain. You run into the wheels for love, sis. But that aside, <laughs> that aside, Why? that aside, that aside, after you make all your money and broken all your friends' hearts and gone over to get black dick, cool. 
I think, and some of you are fucking white men. Some of you, like, <laughs> some of you black feminists that keep pushing about black men are getting white with it. Pink with it. Don't be silly. So, <laughs> like I've said, my views, views don't represent us, isn't it? Don't represent me. I represent my own thing, cause come for me, bro. And so the the the, the finishing point is <laughs> on a on a roll thing though. Men do experience it too. We're not as vocal about it. But I promise you, there are a lot of men in this day and age right now, if you really had to have a real conversation with you, they'll tell you how it, how hard it is. I think the last thing I'll just explain is I'll, I'll use is, a, is an American artist called Glock Nine, who's like from the same areas of Kodak Black. I'm using Americans because they're more loud about their stuff. And he tweeted about how he don't want no dark baby. Mm. And Kodak also said he don't want no dark bitch. Mm. These men are both very black. Mm. But he also tweets in his broken language that you don't even know what this about. You don't even know what I've been through. And I think that speaks for a lot of dark men. Mm. You don't, because, you know, it's funny because on one side we're told to talk about our problems, but if you do, you're a bitch. Yeah. You're emotional. Guys these days are too emotional. Mm. They're not men. Women are always telling us what real men are, which is funny because not one of them knows how to okay. use a penis. But, except young MA, whether you're a fake one. But the point is... <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm speaking. The point is, black men... Men in general go through a lot of shit. The suicide rate is higher for men, isn't it? Mm. Especially young men. Mm-hmm. Especially young black, black men. men. Yep, absolutely. So you have to understand that we're all going through shit. And I'm not going to ask everyone to be there for each other and support each other. All I'm saying is that we need to stop blaming each other. And even though we are all part of the problem, but we're also all part of the solution. My simple thing is everybody should focus more on the positives. Because mm. there are a lot of positives. Positive. There are a lot of positive <laughs> examples. There's a lot of positive imagery. And we just need to suppress those other ones. If t- nine people are saying black, if six people, it's majority, yeah? If six people are saying black women are beautiful, six black men are saying black women are beautiful, and four are saying black women are ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you going to focus on? Yeah. Go where you're wanting. Go, don't go, go where you're appreciating, not where you're tolerating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Mad. This has actually been quite interesting. It's been a bit problematic, but it's been extremely interesting. And I think it's a discussion maybe we, wine. Should, we should have more often. I'm just going to quickly... Um, <sighs> right, no, let me give my closing notes. I feel like colorism as a discussion, as a topic we do decide to discuss, and we do have discussions about very openly, both on Twitter, on various, various talking talk show mm. platforms <clears throat> that we do discuss on various talk show platforms. Um and on Twitter, on social media. Um, I think it is a discussion that we have to, us as black women, I feel like sometimes we're always focusing on ourselves. And I know there's like this whole thing where there's a black man privilege thing. And I don't, I don't know if I agree with the whole black man privilege thing. I think it's more of a some man privilege thing. And these are our men, so we're focusing on them. That's just my perspective on it personally. Let me not get into that because I don't want anyone to attack me because this is, you people will take this out of context. But I feel like it's just a thing where it's say, ah, oh, pitchfork is ready. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it's just a thing where we need to understand that we are not the only ones that have gone through it. And the reason I decided to have this discussion is I've spoken to a lot of black men, dark skin men that, that have spoken to me just because it's me, like we're bedrooms or whatever, and we've had the discussion. And like the two of them have said, black men just don't go out there and they're not vocal about it. And because black women, us as black women are finally getting our platforms to tell our stories. That kind of says something because black women are getting platforms and are able to tell their stories. But when black men do tell their stories, they're, they're chastised for it. They're, they're pussies. They're, 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 what did you say? They're bitch. And, 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 and that's unfair because then you're invalidating the experiences, something we all scream about. We don't want our experiences invalidated, but we're more than happy to invalidate our men's experiences and then we'll scream that our men don't protect us, which is another topic. Don't don't shake your head like this, my friend. It's another topic, another completely dis- different discussion. Um, a question I want to do, do want to say is like, as much as we, your nuisance. Yeah, your nuisance. Um, yeah, so it's like, I'm black women. I'm not even gonna be like, oh, but do black women protect black men? Black women protect black men. I ride for every black man I know personally, and I know a lot of black women historically that have ridden for black men. It's we're not getting it. Riding at black men, I'm about riding for them, no. no Get your stop. cowgirl on, girl. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Rise your black man, bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes. So, as I was saying, so I feel like the, the layers to this whole conversation is a very nuanced discussion in a whole. Something we need to do within our community, but I feel like one thing we do need to do is just come as one and remember before the light skin and the dark skin and the orange skin and the undertones and all the the, the sunset. Sunset black. Sunset black. We are black people, oh point black people. <laughs> um, on that note, uh, mm. please, I hate the whole Wakanda photo. Same thing. fucking trash. <laughs> but, um, yeah, on that note, rating the food out of 10. Whew. B-Money did his thing halfway through the thing, which I appreciate, but, yeah, let's give I it an really out of 10. Know. What's this? It's 10. No, 10 fingers now. 10 fingers now, okay. <laughs> it's 10. Oh. Okay. You're giving it 10 out of 10? You're like one of them annoying friends on Instagram when the girl's clearly not that nice or her friends are putting Slay sis, yes, yeah <laughs> I'm gonna give this a good mm-hmm. I started to taste the salt a bit later, so I'll give it a bit of a I it didn't have any meat. <laughs> um <laughs> the avocado kind of mm-hmm. but I kind of mini blocked it down, so I'm gonna give it a young mm-hmm. 7.5, I think that would, that's good, you know, like that, I'm rating it like a girl, innit, I don't really see those of 9s and 10s, so I'm not, I've never had like sick food, so, but you're offended? Of course I'm offended, 7.5 out of a whole 10, like, what happened to the other, 2.5, 2.5, oh, no, the the look, you're, you're angry over a month, you don't even know, alright, the rest of the 2.5, if it was a, if it was, if it was out of 5, I'd give it 3.5, oof, nice, no, that's harsh, okay, 8, just better changing the score. Okay, eight out of ten. That's it. And I'm only saying eight out of ten to be nice. It was calm. It was cash. Like it was nice. But the, I enjoyed the process of making it more than actual food. Does that make sense? I enjoyed everything together. He looks so rattled. Yeah, but I'm seven point five. I don't care. Like, it, it, it didn't have no meat inside. It had avocado. It was nice. Man had seconds in it. But I'm a tough critic. Man's throwing out tens. That's your business. So I'm bad. Nice though. I liked it. Everybody come to Woolies Kitchen, have some food. Just scream all you want. Don't care. Nice. Wow. Next. Another amazing episode of Cook Talk. Don't pressure me. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, join in the conversation using the hashtag Cook Talk. Follow me on all social medias, Angry Black Pummy. Mm-hmm. And I will see you on the next episode of Cook Talk. And I'm going to be like, the only one Alright. Have a great day. I'm going to take this Thank opportunity so to say much. that I'm single. Just follow me off the back of hers because she will promote my name. DM me. Peng. Dark skin ladies, like these two, you get me out, you're welcome, but you know. <laughs>